Hey guys, it's Desmond from Massage Pro Medical back with another product review. This time we're taking a look at something slightly different. Um, if you're like me, you get back pain from work, being around, uh, working hard all day. I haven't been doing it for a while since I'm still dealing with an Achilles rupture, but sleeping on your side and, and different positions can irritate your back and you want something that can help you with it. And if you can't get to a massage therapist, you want to try something that you can help with at home. So this is why the fine folks at Therabody have created the Recovery Therm, the, not the greatest name, but um, it's designed to be a heat and vibration back and core massager to help with those pesky type muscles and uh, help bring a little bit more blood to the area and help you recover faster. So we're gonna take a look at that. If you like any of the content that I'm providing, please hit a like and subscribe and ask any questions about products that I may have missed. So without further ado, let's take a look. Get into this unboxing as swiftly as I can. So, obviously, this is the front of it from Therabody. Looks pretty sleek and nice. Uh, on the side of it, it tells you what's included, which is the recovery therm, vibration, back and core, removable battery, a soft case, and a USB C charging cable and adapter. Gotta like that, easy to use. Everybody has these things, so even if they didn't come along, they have it, but it's nice for it to be included. Um, and then everything is just the same in different languages. On the back, it has the same thing, different languages, which just says back and core relief, precise heat, targeted vibration. Features, three levels of heat for back and front treatment, three modes of vibration for independent use, or with back heating, one size fit all design featuring carbon fiber mesh and germanium recovery fabric. Sounds fancy. Um, three hour battery life. Eh, not the greatest, but I mean, you won't be keeping it on all night, certainly. So let's open it up and see what we got. The outside of it slips right off. fiddle with this a little bit. Just put it on the top. Inside the box. Nice little welcome. Inside. There's a couple little boxes that I mean little packages that come with the USB C cable and some instructions. But this is the soft case as you can see right here. pull out the wrap it's pretty lengthy so even you know I always worry like I said I'm a bigger guy bigger human so I always try to make sure something like this will fit around me and it's long enough that it wraps around me um, the battery pack is usually in the front right in the front with where the device settings are which has heat up and down and vibration setting on the side and then just the logo in the front with the power right here with the light on top. Um, the three settings are pretty strong. The heat gets up there pretty well and the vibration, they have stuff that goes off and on at the same time or hits targeted areas or goes in a wave. Um, Hyper Ice actually has something very similar to this uh, where it does the heat and vibration. I think they're button layout and setup is a little bit more difficult to deal with than this one. Um, let me see if you can actually hear the vibration on this side. Uh, I'll turn it on. So that's pretty strong. And this is on the second setting. The third setting is a little bit more gradual. And I can feel it going across from one side to the other, which isn't bad. 
I would put it on, but then you wouldn't really notice much from me putting it on. But you can see when the heat and the vibration on the lights will be indicated. This is the heat side, vibration on the other, power right here. And they're both pretty strong. I will say the one, holding it down turns it off. The one con I would say is that there are certain settings of the higher intensity that it feels more like a skin irritant. So maybe putting it on direct skin isn't the best, maybe a t-shirt. Um, so it'll feel really comfortable. Just don't put it at the highest setting on one of those uh, vibration frequencies. But overall, for what it's worth, pretty good. Um, the price, I think it's around 300 bucks or so. I'll, again, I'll put the pricing and stats and specs at the end of the video so you guys can have that. But I like it. Um, I think both Hyperice and Theragun have put out some decent products. They could probably still use a little bit more time to adjust it. Um, the challenge is always using like vibration to do stuff with back massage versus actually like a kneading or a ball sensation which probably feels a little bit better but having that heat back there even on for like 15 20 minutes does help a lot so if it's something you're interested in taking a look at and you have chronic back pain because you're sitting a lot all day this might be a good one to take a look at um the other con i think is that they have a therabody app that connects for their massage guns but none of their other products. They have cups now, they have this, they have a couple other things. These would be really good to all have them connected through the app via Bluetooth, so that way we can kind of coordinate our care. I have this, I can have the cup, I can sync it. That's something for everybody, I, I mean, I'm shooting that idea out to you so you have everything managed through there as easy as possible since everybody's um, throwing these type of features on their, uh, on their recovery products even. Uh, ached away, which I had at the beginning of the video. There's syncs up through a Bluetooth app that you can control the intensity and time. It's probably be something that's going to be used in the future. So uh, hopefully the next iteration they will actually have that. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the <laughs> recovery therm from Therabody. Um, like I said, if you have any questions about it, please hit me up. I'm happy to do a follow-up video if, if it's something that's interesting. Uh, for now, this is Desmond from Massage Pro Medical, and I'll see you soon.